Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here with a warning. Knowing that we're living in the last days, I want you to think about something. When you are walking through, I know this is going to sound really bizarre because this is not a total scriptural lesson, but these are just real life situations, and I deal with that a lot uh, because that's where we live. Listen. Here's a warning. Watch yourself in parking lots. Remember I was warning about this being the last days? Well, watch yourself in parking lots. How many of you, male and female, literally look around you before you walk? How many of you make an assessment of your surroundings before you bust a move? When was the last time you changed your M.O. and decided, I'm not going to go this route. I'm going to go the other way around because there's a group of people and I want to stick with the group. I don't want to be alone. Have you ever felt that feeling like this is not the time to do what comes normal for you? This is not the time to take your normal route. You know, people are murdered, people are ripped off, people are stolen from, people are raped, people are snatched. It really, really gets dangerous when you're walking around with your eyes in the sky and your nose up in the clouds and your la-di-da, you're tiptoeing through the tulips, but you're not aware of what's going on. Now, I'm going to share with you what happened to me as a child, and I have to make it quick. Listen, I was about eight. I went to the store. I had a key around my neck. I came out. When I was going to the store, a guy was leaning up against the wall. He says, hello. I go in the store. I come back. He's well-dressed, well-groomed, kind of cute. But here I am, an elementary school kid, so... You know, you don't talk to strangers. I just uh, start watching the beveled windows in the storefronts and the reflections of the cars. Yes, I did. Believe it or not, don't ask me why I knew to do that, but I just think God just put that in me to be watchful. And I watched behind me, and I noticed he stopped leaning against the wall and started walking. Now, he was, I would say, about 60 paces behind me, maybe 80. But I was really being careful. I was watching traffic. I was watching where people were. I was being very aware. And I got to my corner, and instead of turning left, I crossed the street because I wanted to catch him off guard. And when I crossed the street, he crossed, and I turned left. And about 80 paces behind, he turned left. And I knew something was up. So I took my key off my neck, wrapped the excess around my wrist, held the key in my hand, and watched the traffic and timed it. Kept looking at reflections to see how far behind he was. And when I made a beeline, I dashed through the traffic and crossed right back across the street, ran up my, my stairs, Unlocked the door, slammed the door shut, locked everything, went, you know, through the vestibule, locked the second door, and then hollered at my mother. Do you know when my mother saw the guy? He was coming up the stairs. She grabbed the kitchen knife, came downstairs. The man was banging on the door, trying to kick it down. And when he heard my mother's mouth, she said, you try to get through here. I got something for you. I will kill you. That's when he left. Now, what if I had not had a watchful eye? What might have happened to me? And I ask you, have a watchful eye. Always be aware. Last days, these crimes are going to get bizarre, you guys. You must be aware of what's going on.